make their way into neighborhoods hit hardest. The National Weather Service has dispatched survey teams to Cook County and found extensive damage from both EF2 and EF3 tornadoes. Officials are also working to determine if a tornado touched down in Denton County where the majority of the damage occurred due to downed trees. Closing arguments are set to begin this morning in the unprecedented criminal hush money trial for former President Donald Trump. Coming up, and we also have a report from Basil John, who will also have more on the closing arguments in this case. Authorities fear a second landslide and a disease outbreak are looming at the scene of Papua New Guinea's landslide. The blanket of debris has become more unstable with recent rain and streams trapped between the ground and rubble. If that debris gains speed, it could put nearly 6,000 people at risk. Officials also fear that the decaying bodies could create a serious health risk. In nearby water sources, the Associated Press estimates about 2,000 people are buried under the landslide and five bodies had been away from the rubble by on Monday. All right, so in your community news this morning, all bird enthusiasts will have a chance to go watching at a local ranch. <laughs> Sounds very fun and learn how to take professional photos of these creatures. Oh yeah, this is a little bit of outdoor fun, Jeremiah, which okay. is good for the soul. Absolutely. Yeah. It's good to step outside sometimes. Uh, it is, and this time we're going to look up. I feel like we don't look up. There are birds in the sky. We need to look at them. Uh, Appreciate them. Why look down? <laughs> look up. I know, I know. It's going to be a good time for sure. I'm really excited about this opportunity. We can head out to the Santa Clara Ranch and check out the four in-ground blinds areas that overlook a pond of feeding stations. Uh, that's because that's where we're going to find raptors and all kinds of birds in full light. Like Jeremiah said, let's look up and appreciate. The site is about 30 miles northwest of McAllen. With the summertime weather, you know, it's approaching this year. It's the perfect chance for us to really observe these mammals up close and personal. It's not a super large property either, so attendees will have an intimate setting to observe the creatures and really just learn about their characteristics and living habits within our Rio Grande Valley ecosystem. Okay, so the event is welcome to teens, young adults, adults. I mean, really just as long as you understand you're going to be handling some pretty delicate camera equipment, uh, trying to capture the birds in their natural environment. Organizers are going to have various lenses available for use, along with multipliers and other camera accessories, meaning you just have to bring yourself and a fun loving sense of adventure. Plus your love of birds, of course, and wildlife. And with a start time of 7 a.m. sharp, you're really going to be able to increase your odds of checking out these birds in a real life rise and shine scenario before they begin their day. It's an educational experience for everyone, a great way to step outside for some fresh outdoor air. Uh, it's going to be a perfect occasion to bring, you know, some family, friends and bond out there uh, as well as just overall exploration. So Make sure you wear comfortable clothing, comfortable shoes, bring plenty of water, stay hydrated, maybe some SPF, but overall it should be a pretty great time for sure. It's going to be happening today at Santa Clara Ranch in Rio Grande City from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pretty good window there and you can visit uh, herdnaturephotographers.com for more info on the seminar and everything that it's going to entail. Uh, guys, I really think we need to listen to what Jeremiah said. I mean, look up once in a while, try to appreciate not only the sky, but mm -hmm. what's in the sky. They're so beautiful in flight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We talked about this uh, on the show before that yes. we actually have a very large variety of uh, special True. bird types, oh, yes. here species in the down mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So I'm guessing maybe this would be a good opportunity to learn more about that as well. Yes. yes? Yeah. So mm -hmm. there you go. And even if you don't have a ton of experience yeah. like me, um, even if you're interested, it sounds like you can still go yeah. and yeah. learn and have a good time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Just I making sure. <laughs> and also you can go out there, take professional photos, and if you want, you can even sell those photos <gasps> Whoa, like you have made. There you go. Jeremiah's trying to come up with a little no, side no, hustle no, over here. There, I know yeah. where you're going to be this afternoon. Yeah. Tell them to tag us on socials. And also. tag us on Thank socials. You should, well. yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah. There you go. Thank a you. a <laughs> quick look. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Danielle earlier had a couple of uh, <laughs> national days up for us today, but yeah. it's also Tuesday. Uh, so, y'all know we, we got to do yeah. our uh, uh, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so, if you do have plans later today for that lunchtime outlook, I know it looks kind of good, doesn't it? Uh, we are going to see a heat advisory kick off at noon. So, right on your lunch break, it'll start to get a little toasty. Uh, it's not going to be quite as hot as the last couple of days. None of us are under an excessive heat warning at the time being, but it could still feel like 108 to 115 degrees. I'll be back with more details on your forecast coming up. This is the all-new Tempur-Pedic.